Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how I uh, chop up samples in Logic X. Uh, the first thing you want to do is bring in the sample that you want to chop up. So i um, got one downloaded here from YouTube and I'm going to go ahead and drag it in. And the next thing you want to do is uh, check to make sure that your key commands are set. So you're going to go to Logic X and key commands and then hit edit. When you're in edit, you want to go ahead and uh, go to the top right corner in the search field and type in the word split. And what should come up are these guys right here. And what you're looking for is split regions events at playhead position. So my key command for this particular function is the backslash button. Um, you can choose any sort of key that you want, but it might interfere with other functions within Logic. So I chose this one because it wasn't set to anything. In order to do that, you have to click on Learn by Key Position and then actually hit that key that you want to use on your keyboard. In my case, it was the backslash button, which is right beneath your Delete uh, on your Mac keyboard. All right, so that's set. We're going to go ahead and X out of that. So... Now that the uh, song is imported already, what I'm going to do is zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole song. And I'm going to let the uh, song actually play and then chop it up as it's playing. And the way to do that is just by letting it play and then hitting that backslash button on your keyboard anytime you want to initiate a chop. So I'm going to count with it. One two and a three and a four and a one two three four and a one two three four so now i got actually i want that last one too so i'm going to make another chop right there so now i got all these chops and i made these within what 10 seconds so it's a really uh, fast way of uh, chopping up your samples uh, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and create a software instrument. And let's bring that one down. I'm going to choose the EXS24 sampler in stereo mode. I'm going to hit edit. And now we have this little cool import tool that pops up with the keys below. I'm going to go ahead and highlight all those chops I just made. I'm going to click and drag those chops right into my sampler. You're going to get a message that states how many samples you're importing, and you want to just choose a default and hit OK. OK, now we have 12 samples that have been imported into the uh, EXS24 sampler instrument. Next thing you want to do is create a group. So you go to Group and New Group. A folder is going to appear right here. Click on one of the samples, and then hit Command-A on your keyboard to select them all, click and drag them into the group folder. All right, that's done. We're going to go to groups and we're going to set our polyphony to one. As you guys know, uh, that will um, allow the sample to play all the way through until you hit the next key and then the next sample starts playing. Uh, and that gives you sort of that, that MPC feel. All right, so that's all set and done. Um, I do recommend saving your instruments. So once you have this all set, you're going to hit save as. And we're going to call this uh, sample tutorial. Okay. Now, now that that's saved, we're going to go ahead and minimize that. And I don't have my MIDI keyboard attached to this laptop, but what I can do is just bring up my keyboard keyboard. And I'm going to go ahead and try playing these samples that I just put in here. Let's see what it sounds like. I've got to find them first. So there they start. And you know, I mean, you don't have to necessarily only have 12 samples. You can do a lot more samples than that. 
Yeah, some gold in here already. So I hope this video was able to help you a little bit. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff. My name is CJ Beats. I really appreciate you watching this video. Peace out.